Bengal Cat vs Burman Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Bengal could never be called delicate. He is an athlete, agile and graceful with a strong, muscular body, as befits a cat who looks as if he belongs in the jungle. His broad head is a modified wedge shape, longer than it is wide, with rounded contours. Atop it is medium-sized to small ears that are relatively short, set toward the side of the head. Large oval eyes are almost round. Joining the head to the body is a long, muscular neck. Supporting the body are medium-length legs, slightly longer in the back than in the front, with large, round paws. A thick, medium-length tail tapers at the end and is tipped in black. When a Bengal rolls over, you can see that another characteristic is a spotted belly. Enhancing the Bengal's wild appearance is a short, thick pelt that feels luxuriously soft and silky. It comes in several colors and patterns, including brown tabby, seal mink tabby, black silver tabby, and seal silver lynx point. The coat can be spotted randomly or in horizontal patterns, or it can be marbled, with horizontal stripes arranged randomly on a lighter background. Some Bengals have a coat that is described as glittered. The fur shimmers in the light as if it were tipped with gold dust. The Burman has a silky, medium-length coat in the pointed pattern of the Siamese, meaning that the color is darker on the face, ears, legs, and tail, a broad, rounded head topped with medium-sized ears, bright blue eyes that give him a sweet expression, and four white feet that give him the appearance of wearing little white mittens. This is a medium-sized to large cat with a stocky, powerful body that belies his gentle demeanor. The medium long to long coat has a silky texture and little undercoat, which means that it rarely mats. It forms a heavy ruff around the neck and is wavy on the belly. A pale body, which varies in shade depending on the cat's color, is set off by darker points. For instance, a seal point Burman has a body that is a pale fawn to cream color with a warm tone, gradually shading to a lighter color on the belly and chest. The points are a deep seal brown. On the front and back paws are white gloves ending in an even line across the paw. On the back paws, the gloves extend up the back of the leg, called laces, and end in a point or an inverted V-shape. In the show ring, the symmetry of the gloves and laces is an important factor and may mean the difference between a kitten going on to a career as a show cat or as a pet. Besides seal point, Burmans come in blue point, chocolate point, lilac point, and various party color point and lynx point colors. Lynx point Burmans have a clearly defined M marking on the forehead, light markings that resemble eyeglasses around the eyes, spotted whisker pads, solid colored ears with no stripes, and thumb marks on the back of the ears. The legs and tail have stripes and rings. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The Bengal is both energetic and clever. This makes him enjoyable to be around, although he may be difficult at times. Overall, the Bengal is a self-assured, chatty, sociable cat who is always on the lookout. Nothing escapes his attention. He enjoys activities such as fetch and is an expert at learning new skills. His nimble paws are almost as good as hands, and it's a good thing he doesn't have opposable thumbs or he would probably rule the world. Bored Bengal cats can also adopt some unconventional, and slightly destructive, habits, including, turning light switches on and off, fishing seals out of drains, and excitedly plucking CDs from your DVD player. Fond of playing in the water, the Bengal is not above jumping into the tub or strolling into the shower with you. Aquarium and pond fish may be at risk from his clever paws. He also loves to climb and can often be found perching at the highest point he can reach in the home. A tall cat tree or two is a must for this feline, as are puzzle toys that will challenge his intelligence. On the rare occasions that he isn't swinging on chandeliers or swimming in your pool, the affectionate Bengal will be pleased to sit on your lap. It goes without saying that he will share your bed. And yes, he steals the covers. If you prefer the Siamese pattern but not the Yali voice, a Burman may be the cat for you. He is a calm, placid cat that adores people and will accompany them from room to room. Expect the Burman to be interested in what you're doing, and be thankful that he's not as pushy as the Siamese. Docile doesn't mean dumb. The Burman is a smart cat and, of course, curious. He likes to explore his environment and has been known to get trapped underneath floors that are being replaced or to accidentally, maybe on purpose, go for a ride on top of a car. It's a good idea to always keep tabs on where he is. He communicates in a soft voice, mainly to remind you that perhaps it's time for dinner or maybe for a nice cuddle on the sofa. He enjoys being held and will relax in your arms like a furry baby. The short, thick coat of the Bengal is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath is rarely necessary. 
Keeping him indoors also protects local birds and wildlife from this avid hunter. If possible, build your Bengal a large outdoor enclosure where he can jump and climb safely. Despite the length of the Burman's coat, it has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily. Comb it weekly to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Burmans shed their winter coat in the spring, so you may want to comb more frequently than to remove loose hair. A warm bath can also help to loosen and remove the shedding coat. To accomplish a Burman bath, wetting the cat with a handheld shower nozzle is often preferable to immersing him in a tub of water. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a dirty box may cause them to start using other places in the house instead. It's a good idea to keep them as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The active and social Bengal is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He's smart enough to get out of the way of toddlers but loves school-aged children because they are a match for his energy level and curiosity. Nothing scares him, certainly not dogs, and he will happily make friends with them if they don't give him any trouble. Always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. Like many active cats, Bengals have a high prey drive and should not be trusted with smaller prey animals such as, hamsters, smaller rabbits and guinea pigs. The friendly, laid-back Burman is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. The Burman communicates in a soft voice, mainly to remind you that perhaps it's time for dinner or maybe for a nice cuddle on the sofa. He loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect, and he doesn't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. He is happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.